I'm John McNeil. I come from Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. in the United States. I'm a professor of history. I'm not a specialist in uh, East Central European history. I typically write world history and sometimes environmental history. And this is my third visit to the seminar on the image of uh, East Central European history in textbooks in the English language. I took part, uh, I believe it was 13 years ago, and some experts reviewed a book that I had written together with my father. That book is called The Human Web. It's a little bit better for having been reviewed by uh, a handful of uh, Polish colleagues. And then uh, just three years ago, I returned for a second time. And so this, in 2017, is my third uh, experience of this seminar. And this time, the book that I presented was uh, a textbook on uh, world history, or the history of humankind. It's, uh, I've written 27 chapters, uh, so I'm almost done. But uh, I'm going to have some work ahead of me when I get home because I got a lot of good suggestions from Polish colleagues uh, on this occasion. Uh, suggestions that have to do not only with the history of Poland and the history of East Central Europe, but uh, in fact uh, some excellent suggestions that uh, extend well beyond that. Uh, the history of the Inca in South America, things about the Ottoman Empire, uh, some details about uh, Georges Clemenceau, the French Prime Minister of the Third Republic. Uh, my colleagues here uh, in Poland have been able to uh, provide some useful critiques, criticisms, and corrections on all sorts of subjects. So that's why I have uh, returned three times to this seminar, because I feel that for me it's been a valuable, useful uh, educational experience, making my books better. And I expect that all my American and British colleagues who have been through this experience would say and feel the same thing.